I held my father's razor blade to my wrist before I was old enough to shave. I was alcoholic like him before I was a man, and my cousin and role model killed himself. I thought about ending my own life many, many times. Sadly, poor mental health and feeling lost has become the norm for young men today. Around three quarters of young men privately report mental health issues, but less than half have ever talked about it. Suicide is now the most common cause of death amongst young men. Just think about that, like young men are most dangerous to themselves. Addictions are on the rise, deaths of despair of all kinds, and most men just feel a bit lost and hopeless. People criticize them as toxic or accuse them of being fragile, but don't really offer them any actual help. I think we've let them down. I was lucky enough to find martial arts and fitness. That was a lifesaver for me. These gave me the discipline to graduate university, later to start a business, to get sober, sort my life out. I was one of the fortunate ones. I've always wanted to be the person for others that I needed as a kid. Earlier this year, I got the chance when several friends asked me to take their sons to the gym. This went really well. When boys start going to the gym, not only do they get physically healthy, but it helps their mental state, they get disciplined, they love it. It's not just about the muscles. Most young men who need help don't resonate with therapy and they end up either listening to macho influencers or disappearing into like drugs and porn and gaming. It's not good. The gym is so much better. So strength training can be holistic. It can be a way to find physical and mental health, yes, but also discipline and purpose and to feel less alone. Now I want to take what I've started one-to-one -one in person and bring it online to reach a million young men. We could make the gym a mental health dojo. I want to make it really personal. Stop a hundred young men killing themselves. I've devoted my life to helping people psychologically in different ways. We've done some epic stuff. The Embodiment Conference, half a million people. Same Ukraine project, we've helped over a hundred thousand people in Ukraine with that. That's now self-sustaining and I've trained some of the world's best known organizations. I love working with young men in the gym, but to make a real difference, we need to take this online. We need world-class content and some serious marketing. I also want to work with PTs to bring it in person to the kids. Social media is big business these days, so to reach a million young men and beat the more toxic influencers, we do need startup funds. For 10,000 pounds, we can reach a million young men on YouTube who love that platform. We can get a year of professional video and photography for the Instagram and the TikTok. Again, that's what the kids use. And we can get a Substack and a podcast up and going. And various fitness influencers have already said they'd be involved. For another £20,000, we can make an online group for kids globally, a subsidised training for fitness professionals to spread the idea through their world, a leadership training for young mentors, and the support of a marketing team to get it out there. These things will keep benefiting young men ongoing, so we just need the startup funds. So do you wanna get involved and be a positive influence on a million young men? If you're skint, you can still change lives by sharing this with parents, guardians, anyone who cares about young men. If you're not skint, give us some cash. We've got four weeks to get this going. Anyone who joins us will also get some juicy bonuses that are listed below. Snaffle some courses, coaching with me, and get a bargain while helping young guys too. I needed this as a teenager and look around, the kids need this today. Let's have a hundred less suicides and positively, like imagine this, a million, a million healthy, happy, strong young guys. Imagine the force for good that could be in the world. So are you in? Let's do this.